Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. Well, well, well. When I tell you I am reading this story with glee in my heart, uh, just, oh, I love it. I love it. You see, folks who are quick to demonize others, to accuse others, always know that there is a graveyard of skeletons in their own backyard. Okay? So you have uh, Italian actress and director Asia Agrento, who came out and accused Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault. Apparently, uh, she's no different. All right. Apparently, she paid a 17 year old boy hush money. He accused her of sexual assault. She paid him off. Okay, folks. She paid him off. So, what do y'all got to say about that? Is Me Too going to. Uh, what are they going to do about this? Because she was one of the leading uh, spokesperson for the Me Too movement. Oh, yeah. So what is Me Too going to do? Are they going to exile her? What are you going to do, Me Too? You know, because while you are over here crucifying, demonizing, um, doing everything in your power to help bring down Bill Cosby, your leader or one of your leaders is doing worse. So what are they going to do about this? And the only unfortunate thing I hate about this, uh, you know, everybody was calling out Weinstein like, you know, she was and whatever. Unfortunately, this goes in his favor. Oh, okay. And it's by no surprise that we're not hearing about the updates in the Weinstein trial. I meant to do a video about this, but I'll go ahead and, and talk about it in this one. The last thing I heard about Weinstein's trial, they said his defense had emails showing his proof, his so-called innocence, uh, showing that either, I don't know if it was a woman or women, but they had emails showing that it was consensual. What was going on between a Weinstein and this woman or women. Okay. So the media has been super hush. You haven't been getting updates like you did on the Cosby trial. You have to go searching for it because they have not been covering it like that. And they've been doing that from the start. They crucified Cosby. Yeah. They talked a lot about Weinstein and whatnot, but it was on no level at the way that they did Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby was a lynching. It was a lynching, okay? A lynching. They drug his body around. They did Bill Cosby just, just in the most demonic way, okay? Others, it's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, this person is accused, but whatever. So here we go. Isn't this just hilarious? So... I'm reading this from the New York Times and it says the Italian actress and director Asia Agrento was among the first women in the movie business to publicly accuse the producer Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault. She became a leading figure in the Me Too movement. Her boyfriend, the culinary television star Anthony Bourdain, who committed suicide not that long ago, eagerly joined the fight. I want to know, did Anthony know did he know about uh, her past? Inquiring, inquiring, excuse me, minds would love to know that. But in the months that followed her revelations about Mr. Weinstein last October, Ms. Sagrento quietly arranged to pay, get this, $380,000 to her own accuser. Jimmy Bennett, a young actor and rock musician who said she had sexually assaulted him in a California hotel room years earlier, when he was only two months past his 17th birthday. She was 37. The age of consent in California is 18. They're going to try to brush this off. 
they're they're going to do everything in their power to brush it off to treat it um you know as like one of these perverted pedophile teachers who go out here and sleep with boys young boys they're going to try to they're going to you know treat it like that that's what they're going to do and that's where we need to step in uh, as black content creators and call this out this story here we all need to do a video about all of us we have to put them on blast we have to put them on blast hardcore this lady apparently was even celebrating the verdict against bill cosby so yeah let's go let's all drag her through the mud like they do everybody else that claim and the subsequent arrangement for payments are laid out in documents between lawyers for Ms. Agrento and Mr. Bennett, a former child actor who once played in, or excuse me, once played her son in a movie. The documents, which were sent to the New York Times through encrypted email by an unidentified party, include a selfie dated May 9th, 2013, of the two lying in bed. As part of the agreement, Mr. Bennett, who is now 22, gave the photograph and its copyright to Ms. Agrento, now 42. Three people familiar with the case said the documents were authentic. The Times has tried repeatedly since Thursday to get a response to the matter from Ms. Agrento and her representatives. Of course, they're not going to say anything. They're trying to think of something. Uh, she did not reply to messages left on her phone, uh, sent by email and sent to two of her agents who agreed to forward it to her. Carrie Goldberg, her lawyer who handled the matter, read email messages from the Times, according to two people familiar with the case, but she has not responded. A woman who answered the phone uh, at Ms. Goldberg's office on Friday said the lawyer would not be available to discuss this article. Of course not. Ms. Bennett, who Oh, excuse me, not Miss Bennett. Mr. Bennett, who lives in Los Angeles, would not agree to be interviewed, said his lawyer, Gordon K. Uh, is it Serato or Serato? Anyway, uh, in the coming days, Mr. Serato wrote in an email, Jimmy will continue doing what he has been doing over the past months and years, focusing on his music. In an April letter addressed to Miss Agrento, confirming the final details of the deal, and setting out a schedule of payments, Ms. Goldberg characterized the money as helping Mr. Bennett. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, these devils. We hope nothing like this ever happens to you again. Ms. Goldberg wrote, you are a powerful and inspiring creator, and it is a miserable condition of life that you live among shitty individuals who've preyed on uh, both your strengths and your weaknesses. But for Mr. Bennett, who as a child actor charmed Harrison Ford and Bruce Willis and earned the nickname Jimmy Two Takes because he rarely flubbed his lines, the 2013 hotel room encounter was a betrayal that precipitated a spiral of emotional problems according to the documents. All right. The fallout from a sexual battery was so traumatic that it hindered Mr. Bennett's work and income and threatened his mental health, according to a notice of intent to sue uh, that his lawyer sent in November to Richard uh, Holfester, Mr. Bourdain's longtime lawyer, who was also representing Miss uh, Agrento, excuse me, at the time. Miss Agrento, who lives in Rome, subsequently turned to Miss Goldberg, a prominent lawyer for victims of online attacks, to handle the case. Mr. Uh, Hoffister is now handling the estate of Mr. Bourdain, who killed himself in June. Although Mr. Bourdain helped Miss Agrento uh, navigate the matter, neither Miss uh, uh, Mr. Hofster nor Kimberly Witherspoon, Miss uh, Mr. Bourdain's longtime agent and now spokeswoman for his wife, uh, Oct is it Octavia Buza, uh, from whom he was separated, would c comment for this article. Mr. Bennett's notice of intent asked for 3.5 million in damages uh, for the intentional infliction of emotional distress, 
lost wages, assault, and battery. Mr. Bennett made more than $2.7 million in the five years before the 2013 meeting with Ms. Agrento, but his income has since dropped to an average of $60,000 a year, oh boo-hoo, uh, which he attributes to the trauma that followed the sexual encounter with Ms. Agrento, his lawyer wrote. In October, a month before Mr. Bennett sent his demand for money, the New Yorker published an article by Ronan Farrow that included Ms. Agrento among 13 women who accused Mr. Weinstein of harassment and rape. Ms. Agrento, whose father, uh, Dario Agrento, is a noted director of Italian horror films, began her career uh, or began her acting career as a child. She went on to win to David D. Delatano Awards, blah, 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 the Italian equivalent of Oscars, and has directed films, written a novel, and recorded music, blah, 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 blah. Uh, after she spoke out about Mr. Uh, Weinstein, Ms. Agrento quickly emerged as a powerful voice for women who have been mistreated by men. In May, the festival, Mr. Weinstein's haunting ground, she said he had raped her there in 1997 when she was 21. The relationship with Mr. Weinstein continued for years afterward and sometimes included sex. Hmm. Really? Yeah, okay. The New Yorker reported Ms. Grinto, who had acted in a movie Mr. Weinstein produced, told the magazine that she feared angering him. It was a complicated situation in which she said she felt powerless. After the rape, he won, she told Mr. Farrow. Mr. Weinstein has pleaded not guilty to six felony uh, counts in New York, including first degree rape. None are related to Ms. Agrento. His lawyers have said their relationship was consensual. Uh, Mr. Bourdain, long, um, long, a fan, she say, I guess a longtime fan of her father's work, Miss, Miss, met Ms. Agrento when he was shooting an episode of CNN's show Parts Unknown in Rome in late 2016. The two became a couple, blah, blah, blah. And Mr. Bourdain became her champion as she emerged as a leading figure in the battle against sexual assault and harassment, speaking at conferences and at Harvard. For Mr. Bennett, seeing Ms. Agrento present herself as a victim of sexual assault was too much to bear. His lawyer wrote and called up memories of their hotel reunion. Um, his feelings about that day were brought to the forefront recently when Ms. Agrento took the spotlight as one of the many victims of Harvey Weinstein. Uh, Mr. Uh, Satoro, Satoro, I guess that's how you said, uh, went in the notice of intent to sue. Uh, wrote in, I'm sorry, wrote in the notice of intent to sue. Uh, Ms. Agrento, who is divorced and has two children, was both a mentor and a mother figure to Mr. Bennett. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever the document says. And the two were uh, intermittently in contact as he grew up. Jimmy's impression of the situation was that a mother-son relationship had blossomed from their experience on set together. Mr. Satterow wrote, uh, Mr. Bennett began writing at age six when he was a cast in, cast in a commercial for a Dodge Caravan uh, commercial. He went on to appear in dozens of other commercials and secure roles in several t television shows, blah, 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 blah. His prolific career uh, started in 2003 with Daddy Daycare, which starred Eddie Murphy. Mr. Bennett was seven when he was cast in The Heart is deceitful above all things a 2004 film about miss grento directed starred in and helped write although it is unclear whether mr bennett and miss grento have spoken since the payment was made miss grento seems to remain positive on july 17 she added a like to a moody portrait of himself he had posted on his instagram account the account has since been scrubbed of much of his content so there you go um and once again this same woman uh you know who came out against harvey weinstein and it, her story does sound suspect but you know i'm not here um to talk much about her and harvey weinstein i'm here to talk about her because how dare you you fake victim advocate having bitch how dare you get out here uh, crucify everybody else when you have this on you and you paid him is isn't that funny how it works when it's coming from 
their direction. But when it's every, when it's everybody else, you know, oh my God, that he's a sexual predator. Oh yeah, yeah, he did it. Yeah, watch how they are going to cover for this woman, and we shouldn't allow them to do it. Just like we went in on Julie Chen and all of them, we need to do the same with this. This is just the hypocrisy at one millionth. <laughs> like, like times one million. I can't even with this. I cannot with this. And watch how the media is going to treat this. Just watch. Because when it comes to boys, it doesn't matter. Male victims, nobody cares about. She should be dogged. She should be treated the same way y'all treat R. Kelly. She should be treated all the same. I see no difference. None. Let's, let's see what they do with this. I want to know. What, do you, what are they going to do with this? What are they going to do? It, it's just, it's astounding. It's amazing. I'm at a loss for words. This couldn't come at a better time. And there's more to come. Oh, there is. Because see, you don't do this kind of dirt. You don't do this kind of evil. Put it out there and expect it's not going to come back on you. Oh, because it always does. Always. I can't wait to see the comment section on this video. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Oh, mm -hmm.